Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and we just picked up a rental car. Today the plan is we're driving along the north coast mm. of Jamaica. Uh, from Montego Bay, we're gonna pass through Ocho Rios on our way towards Port Antonio mm. and Boston Bay. We're actually not totally sure where we're gonna sleep tonight, but somewhere around there, hopefully. Uh, but I'm gonna show you this road trip in Jamaica today. It's probably like a four, five hour drive or so today mm -hmm. and we might make a couple stops and definitely have lunch somewhere although we don't know where yet so we're on our way we just got the car we're leaving from Montego Bay Airport let's go that way right Priory. Priory. Oh, a little stretch here. That was, I think we've been driving for about a little over an hour. We're in a place called Priory, which is just outside of Ocho Rios. But there's a man here that we're gonna stop by who is known as the Pudding Man. Oh, I can smell it. I think it's not really a pudding, but more like a cake, which, yeah, it's like roasting all on the outside. Of so it's a little grocer here and I'm not still totally sure what it is, but these are like pots that he has set up on, they look like wheel wells and then coals on top. And so I think there's a little like batter cake that's roasting inside of here. Coals on both sides? Yes, coal on top, coal on top. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Thank you, man. Cool, fresh one. Yep. That place just smells so good inside. Whoa. Wow, that's a, it's a heavy piece. We got the potato pudding. There were, I think there were three different types, uh, but I asked her what the original one, she said potato pudding. Uh, oh, it's not even pudding, it's puddin. Puddin man. And this is, it's solid and thick and sticky. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. It tastes like a pumpkin pie. But good texture and smokiness from that fire. Sweet, but not overly sweet. It is like a pudding cake. On the top and bottom, it's more crusty. In the center, it's kind of like oozy. Okay. That was a worthwhile stop at the Pudding Man. We're gonna continue driving. We're almost to Ocho Rios. Welcome to Ocho Rios, Jamaica, and I believe that this is the town where Bob Marley was born, so it has some serious Jamaican history and importance. And we just came to a restaurant, which is called Soldier's Restaurant. It looks like they have good local food, a nice local place that we just found on Google Maps, and we're gonna go check it out, get some food, probably for takeaway. Is it oxtail? Oxtail. You have oxtail? Yeah. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Soldier's Restaurant. Awesome place. All the food is cooked and prepared and you just choose from what they have. Staff in there were really friendly, cool people. We got a, a nice takeaway lunch, which we're actually just going to go back to the car and eat. Probably right outside. Cool spot though. I got curry goat and oxtail. Yes. Okay, cool. And they have some seating. They had a, did, no, I think no seating inside. It was only takeaway, but they had a couple seats outside, a couple tables outside, but we came back to the car. They have a parking lot in the back, conveniently. Got a piece of fried chicken for Micah. Got a box of rice for Ying. <laughs> yes, the sun is for <laughs> curry goat. Yeah, dude, grab that, dude. Do you have sauce also? Chili pepper sauce? Pepper sauce. Pepper sauce? Yeah, oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> that looks so good. The rice, curry goat, oxtail, vegetables. 
perfect place on a Jamaican road trip to stop for lunch. Oh, man, this smells delicious. Oh man. Oh yeah, man. Yes, the yeah, scotch well, bonnets, the scotch pepper. Bonnets, pepper, you know? Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. All oh, right. perfect. Right there. Perfect. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, man. What is your name? John. Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. Nice to meet you. Soldier's Restaurant. Yeah, man. Soldier's Restaurant. Thank you so much. Otherwise, man. Dundee, you know? Dundee. Yeah, yeah. That's crocodile, your crocodile. Crocodile Dundee. 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 Yeah, man. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, man. Cool. Real hot, you know? Yes. I love it. And she really hooked me up, scooped on a lot of the. I think it's the oxtail gravy under my rice. Mm. Oh wow, that is, that is delicious. That is so tasty. That, like pimento. Oh man. The beans in the rice, the onions. Oh, that's, that's so good. Actually, I'll put those scotch bonnet oh, under the rice, a little bit of vegetable. Yeah, man, enjoy yourself, man. Mm. Oh, with that pepper, yeah. That scotch bonnet, scotch bonnet is life. Food is nice. Very nice. Very, very nice, man. Oxtail time. Okay, I'm gonna just pick up this piece of oxtail. You gotta just go in with your fingers for oxtail. Mmm. All the tenderness, the gumminess, and like the cartilagey bits. Oh, mm. the trifecta of um, textures is what really makes oxtail so good. And that tastes like a, it's like a stewed oxtail. Traveling around Jamaica to eat. First time here. First time to Ocho Rios, yes. And first time to Jamaica, yes. Thank you, Dundee, that is awesome. Some intestines in there too, I think. Is that a bone or a piece of meat? Oh yeah. Curry goat is tasty too. Especially with that scotch bonnet pepper sauce on it. And the pepper sauce is like a Tastes like a vinegary scotch bonnet, carrots and onions in there. The procedure is to take a piece of the scotch bonnet. Man, you could just eat a whole, a half a scotch bonnet with every single bite here and be very happy with it. Oh, some of the boneless, some of the boneless oxtail. Scoop in with the rice and sauce. Oh, got some vegetables. Oh, it's hard to balance a lot on these little, little forks though. I need a spoon. Okay, I'm just gonna have to use my thumb. Oh, that scotch bonnet. Mm. This is just straight up like home cooking. I'm gonna scoot over some of that oxtail sauce and gravy. Oh, yes. Into the rice. That was that was an incredibly delicious meal. Exactly what I was hoping for. Just good classic kind of home cooking feel to it. Laid back local food. Okay, we're on our way now, heading towards Port Antonio. Port Antonio is, I think it said like about a hundred kilometers down the coast, uh, which should be about an hour, hour and a half possibly to get to Port Antonio. Now that we passed Ocho Rios, the road is smaller and like slower and I think less traffic, less people. I just saw the sign and said we're at Anato Bay, which is 
47 kilometers to Port Antonio. This looks like a, a really chilled out, laid back town. Uh, we passed through some plantations of coconuts and bananas. Big plantations. I wasn't planning to stop here. I mean, it wasn't on our schedule, but my friend Mark and Andrew, they both said if you pass GNB Jerk Center, you gotta stop by. This place is awesome. What? I don't even know where, where are we? Um, we are in Buff Bay. We're in Buff Bay and we're stopping at GNB Jerk Center. Awesome. Okay, I'm ready for a stretch too. Okay. Yeah, awesome. The pork. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, dark meat, please. Dark meat, okay. Like the, yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. That's the consistency you want. Pork and chicken. We got a little bit of both. <laughs> oh man. It is so tender. <laughs> Oh, and that skin and fat. Like the red, maybe red scotch bonnet. No, no red? No, no. It doesn't have the fruity, it's more of like a dry chili taste to it, their pepper sauce. More of like a dry chili taste to it, rather than the fruity scotch bonnets. And now try the jerk chicken. That sauce is awesome, dude. Oh, that chicken. Like, you think the meat is gonna be dry, but it's not dry at all. It is so moist and so juicy. Flavor just permeating through it. Oh, that pimento. <laughs> it's just outstandingly tasty. I'm glad we, we actually passed G and B went, and then we made a. We turned around and came back. It's a good thing we did. Mm. Wow, this was a great little meat, meat, quick, quick meat stop. You will not get over jerk in Jamaica. I think chicken might have won the the competition here between pork and chicken. The chicken was amazing here, and the um. That pepper sauce is banging. It's it doesn't taste spicy at first, but when you keep on eating it, that starts to burn a bit. That's that is absolutely fantastic. And again, yeah, it tastes more like a like a dry chili pepper sauce as opposed to the fresh for me. I'm not totally sure, but wow, that's tasty. Okay, we're back on the road. just saw the sign. We are rolling into Port Antonio. It's 5 p.m. We started at 11, I think. So it did take six hours, but that's also because we stopped at quite a few places and took our time. Not actually that far, you just really weave around and around. 
but Port Antonio looks very relaxed. Again, very chilled out. He has a massive speaker on the top of his car. Finished with that jerk, that was a great way to end the day. And that's gonna wrap up this road trip, one day road trip on the north coast of Jamaica from Montego Bay. Then we drove through all the way to Port Antonio and then past Port Antonio. And this, we're now in Portland Parish of Jamaica. Uh, but it's so beautiful. We passed through so many coves, through so many bays, towns, villages, markets. Um, it, Jamaica is just so lush and such a fertile, water, wood, land, trees, greenery, um, and some delicious food. Lots and lots of delicious Jamaican food. And so that's gonna wrap it up. Um, and actually this hotel that we didn't know we were gonna stay at until we just arrived here, it's really nice. I can't wait to see it in the morning. Uh, maybe I'll show you a, a view for tomorrow morning um, of the place and of the, the water below as well. But that's gonna wrap it up. I wanna say a big thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to Mark Abroad. I'm gonna be publish more, publishing more travel videos, travel tips, hotel reviews, accommodation, um, just all sorts of travel content. And thanks again for watching. See you on the next video. Good night from Jamaica.